Hello, this is Cotton Soups, and welcome back to another Lumion Legacy HDC video. And this Lumion is suggested by another viewer. I'll try to leave him out on the screen, and that is, of course, on Your Soul. Your Soul is actually um, my first ever HDC on a Uber. So yeah, that's going to be fun. Um, I particularly won't be explaining why it's an Uber here. I'll leave some hints and you'll probably understand why at the end of the video. But this video is on how to use Encounter Your Soul. From sets, counters and checks, teammates, and some other stuff as well. Everything in this video will lead you to know how to use Encounter Your Soul. So before we actually start in the video, we must ask the question, what role does your soul play? Well, thankfully, this question is pretty easy to answer because of its base stats. The first thing you should know is that your soul is not really a good stuff to switch in on in terms of melee attack. 63 melee defense is not the best, and while it does have the ability of terrifying, you usually do not want to switch in on melee attackers even then. And rage attack of 30, you should know, never use these kind of rage attack stats, they're really low. And energy stat, range defense stat, and speed stats are all pretty good. 75 does let you outspeed a lot of the walls in the metagame with zero speed investment, except for some stuff like El Iguana and Stratosaur. A range defense of 80 is actually pretty good because, well, 80 is comparable to some other wall breakers that have that energy, or rather that range defense stat, which lets you tank a lot of hits. Well, not a lot of hits, but enough hits to deal damage back. And 99 energy is pretty good because it does get you to 250 with low investment which is actually pretty good because you want to invest more into your other stats. But the main thing of your soul's base stats are its HP and melee attack. 99 HP makes its range defense a lot more higher or rather it makes it seem like it's a lot more higher and it kind of patches up that low melee defense and that 115 melee attack is on par or surpassing stuff like Tyrex, Borok, Garlash, Hunter, and some other stuff as well like I'm pretty sure Garbantis and Volkalova which is also pretty good. But that's not the only good thing about your soul. It actually has one of the best move pulls out there with double stab priority moves of quick punch and shadow sprint. Since your soul does have the ability of sharp claws and it does scale off with these priority moves, this 40 base priority move actually seems a lot more higher and comparable to a lot of 90 base power moves in the game. So this makes your soul practically have a similar base power of the Gamma Pulse, Thunder Strike, and going first on most turns. That is really, really powerful. And if you do not know, Chase Down and Slap Down are also some really good move options for your soul because Slap Down gets rid of the many Rageful Plushies, Clutch Plushies, um, Specialty Boots, Shells, Pearls, and a lot of other stuff which is automatically really good. And Chase Down is actually a, the best move it has. With Chase Down and its defensive typing on top of its really high melee attack stat, this let your soul switch in on walls that are weak to dark and it traps them in. So basically if they want to switch out, it's going to get hit by chase down which is super effectively or they choose to say and predict the chase down and they take a lot of damage still. It's guaranteed to be a 80 base power super effective hit on your um, wall that's weak to dark and that's really scary and on top of that your soul can predict the the, the stay in and use slap down for a lot of damage. This is 130 base power damage guys. Do not do not underestimate how much your soul can do. So what role does your soul play? Well thankfully this is pretty easy to answer and of course it's a wall breaker with the potential to set up thanks to its defenses. It's a great revenge killer or cleaner with priority moves and also your soul can provide a supportive breaker role with helping out wall breakers that are usually walled by stuff that are weak to dark which is of course very amazing for your soul. So with that out of the way I'll be talking about your soul's weaknesses and resistances so let's get along with them. Now your soul's typing of spirit plus brawler might not seem the best but is actually pretty good. It's four weaknesses to light, ancient, air, and mind, and one major weakness to spirit is not really the best, but of course it's also not the worst either. 
One major weakness to Spirit is obviously other Your Souls in the metagame and well, it, that's pretty much only Your Soul and I guess Harvestex, but Harvestex does also get hit super effectively by your Shadow Sprint and Phantom Slash if you do want to run that. So yeah, for weaknesses to Light, Ancient Air, Mind, it's not the best. Ancient types like the Cosmere Forms and Obsidragon and Zulong are some stuff you can watch out for, but other than that, not much Ancient types in the game. Light types mainly on Italy, Namari and uh, Luminami, and I guess the Falkyries running around. So yeah, air types like Zephyrin, Wintrix, Stratosaur, Snagoop are some stuff you should be watching out for, and I guess the Sorrels, which is okay. And mind types, well, mainly mind types like Metasode, Ferroglyph, the Cosmere forms again, and some other stuff you should be watching out for. But other than that, there's not much mind types in the game to be watching out for, and. Its resistances are actually pretty good, with 5 being Ice, Dark, Electric, Bug, and Typeless. Now, Typeless types like Tao Shinu, Lyric Cat, Mewtwo, and Trumble are some good stuff to switch in on. While they're not as common, Tao Shinu is a great stuff to switch in on. Bug types, mainly Harvestek, is some stuff you can switch in on, and as well as Swolder, but I re really wouldn't recommend Swolder. And Electric types like Benetone, again, Zulong, again. And well, some other stuff as well, like Elephage 2, you completely wall that thing unless it has Flash and Flea. So, yeah, Dark types mainly only, I'm pretty sure. Um, well, only Vesperatu is kind of the only one. Cephalops is also some stuff you should be watching out for, and I guess Metronets too. And Ice types, well, mainly only, well, Wintrix, Tonjolin are some Ice types you should be watching out for, and I guess Himber, so you can switch in on those. So yeah, however it does have one immunity to Brawler, which is pretty good overall because you can absorb the ambush clobbers from a Kanibo, some driving forces from Harvestek, so yeah, that's actually pretty good. So yeah, with that out of the way, I'll be talking about your soul sets, so let's get along with that. Your soul's first set and only set is the general your soul set with the ability of Sharp Claws or Terrifying. Now, Terrifying is mostly here because, well, we want to, well wall stuff like hunter or rather check stuff like hunter tyrex but i would personally prefer sharp claws because its offensive capabilities with sharp claws is way too good to pass up and yeah i'd be running sharp claws if i were you and the move set of choice slap down or shadow sprint are basically the moves you should be running i guess you can replace shadow sprint for something like quick punch but other than that i wouldn't really do it slap downs mainly here so we can remove many of the metagame's items which is pretty good for utility and of course removing pearls is obviously pretty good removing plushies is also really good as well so yeah sharpen or chase down can be your third move option now the reason why i say or sharpen is actually because well most tournaments ban chase down or just ban your soul together so running sharpen can be beneficial because you can hit a lot harder with your other moves. And Quick Punch or Pep Jab can be your fourth move option. Like I said earlier, you can replace Shadow Sprint with Quick Punch, or you can replace Sharpen or Chase Down with Quick Punch if you do want to run Pep Jab, because Pep Jab can help you break stuff a lot better, like Tyrex, Tonjolin. Yeah, it's just really good. And the personality of choices can be very brawny, clumsy, sluggish, or foolish. The main reason why I said sluggish or foolish is mostly because we want to outspeed some walls. So if you do not want to run sluggish, foolish can be your next option and your range attack is, or rather range defense is still high enough to tank hits from the range wall breakers that I'll be talking about later. So yeah, or rather the ranged walls. So if you do not want to particularly, well, sacrifice your range defense, run sluggish. Clumsy is so we can use a stat that we're not using, or rather decrease a stat we're not using, and very brownies to hit as hard as possible with our melee attack, and the item of choice, health amulet, or power cuffs. This is mostly so we can deal as much damage as possible, or if you want to be a support your soul with terrifying or sharp claws, you can run health amulet. This will allow you to switch a lot more, so that's pretty good. Choice of essence or shell can also be a a good option. I personally would want to run the Marshall Shell so you can hit stuff like Tundralin and Tyrex a lot harder. So yeah, I would recommend that. And the TPs, 200 HP, 200 melee attack is to maximize our bulk and our attack so we don't really have to 
you know, worry about stuff that can hit us a lot harder than they should. And 12 energy is mostly so we can maximize our energy stat or rather get up to 250 which is pretty essential for our moves because they are 25 base energy which is pretty good it does fit up to 250 energy pretty nicely and 56 speed is mainly so we can outspeed sluggish stratosaurs or non-sluggish stratosaurs if you want to run sluggish then 56 speed with sluggish does let you outspeed sluggish stratosaurs and running no sluggish you will have to run 56 speed to outspeed um, 56 speed no sluggish stratosaurs so yeah and 32 melee defense does well it's mostly here for leftovers so yeah with that out of the way i'll be talking about your soul's counters and checks as well as some teammates so let's get along with them now your soul might be the uber but it's still getting walled by some stuff mainly well um obsidian and vespratu are some good stuff you can use for your soul I highly not, do not recommend Vesperatu for our Your Soul because Vesperatu is not particularly great in the metagame right now because it's walled by a bunch of stuff and Teclips being all over the place. Yeah, Vesperatu is not going to be having a fun time. But I do recommend running Obsidigon if you're worried about Your Soul because Obsidigon can use Primal Slash to hit it super effectively which is pretty good. Obsidian does have resilience, so you'll automatically get a plus one if your soul does decide to use a contact move, so that's pretty good. However, some offensive stuff that I would use your soul or use against your soul, I do not recommend um, using your main way of dealing with your soul being offensive. But yeah, anyways, Metronet, Zulong, Teclips, Namare are some all good stuff. Now, obviously there are a bunch more stuff like Protagon, Valkyries, whatever. I just think that these guys are the best. Zulong does hit your soul with um, elemental burst super effectively. You just have to watch out if the if you're low enough for your soul to pick you off with something like sh Shadow Sprint or Quick Punch. So yeah, be wary of that. Metronut, I'm pretty sure does flat out wall you if it's running Health Amulet. So yeah, but other than that, Metronet is not the best. Actually, it's actually the best in terms of offense. So yeah, Teclips is also pretty good because it does hit you with Gamma Pulse super effectively. You just have to watch out if your Teclips is low enough that your soul can pick you off. Same thing with Namare. However, it does a little bit better, except Namare has to watch out for the slap down. So yeah, be careful with that. So with that out of the way, I'll be talking about your soul's teammates. So let's get along with that. They're actually pretty simple with Protagon Valkyrie being the best teammates. Now, Proto Soul or Falk Soul are actually one of the main reasons why your soul is pretty much banned in most tournaments because your soul paired up with Valkyrie actually lets Valkyrie break its walls a lot easier and Valkyrie break your soul's walls a lot easier. Notice that these guys pair really well with each other because your soul can switch in on stuff like Chartiki, Mao Merc that wanna, you know, check Valkyrie, and Valkyrie can switch in on stuff like Vespratu, or rather not Vespratu, but mainly only Obsidigon, so yeah, Valkyrie is good on that one. And in case you haven't noticed, like a few metagames ago, Valkyrie was one of the best Lumions now, and with your soul, it's still a really good combo that just happens to be not banned. So if you do find a tournament that's not banning your soul and Valkyrie, go do that. But if you do not want to run Valkyrie, you can run Protagon. Now, Protagon is instantly a little bit worse than the Proto Soul, well, not the, the Falk Soul comp, but Protagon is perfectly serviceable because your soul does take out your, um, pro your soul does take out Protagon's counters. So yeah, you should pair that up pretty well. And some other stuff you can run is like Teclips and Namare. Namari is mainly here because it can deal with Obsidigon if it's not running Mega Chomp and most and most Obsidigons do not run Mega Chomp. So yeah, Namari is basically really good for it. Teclips is also pretty good because Gamma Pulse the Obsidigon and it's basically the the freest switch in ever on Vespratu. Even if it is Airblade, Teclips can still switch in. So yeah, that's pretty good. And some defensive teammates, while they're not very plentiful, they're actually pretty meta, so you don't have to be worried about that. Just be worried about the offensive teammates. Stuff like Setamars is also pretty good because, well, Setamars can deal with your um, 
Well, it can deal with Vesperatu pretty well. You can also deal with stuff like Nemare, Eclipse pretty well as well, so you can worry about that. Some other well, it can also deal with Zulong too. Some other stuff is like Harvestek too, because Harvestek does deal with Metronet the best. It just has to watch out for the sleep, and as long as Metronet doesn't get like at least uh, four setups on you, Harvestek will be doing pretty good. And Tyrex and Stratosaur are some last stuff you can be running. Tyrex is mainly the less safer option because, well, it doesn't have recovery. But if you do want to run Tyrex over Cetamars, you can do that. And if you do want to run Stratosaur, which is not particularly my best um, recommendation, because Zulan kind of deals with it very, very easily. So yeah. So with that out of the way, I'll be talking about the conclusion, my closing statements on your soul. So let's get along with that. Alright, so you got to the end of the video, nice job. And is there even anything I should say about your soul? I mean, your soul is like, it's an uber. If you want to debate me in the comments, well, you're gonna have to fight my opinion and many others' opinions on the many competitive players and the competitive community, so yeah. But yeah, in all honesty, your soul is a really good Lumion. It's Ubers, so if you want to pair your soul with stuff like Valkyries, Protagons, it can even pair really well with stuff like Wintrix and Zeflin. So yeah, your soul overall is pretty good. Even with its solo damage output, your soul is still very threatening because with Chase Down, it does trap in the walls that are weak to dark. And yeah, that's pretty good. So with that out of the way, like the video if you found this video informational and subscribe if you're into these kind of videos. I do have other HGCs that are pretty good like the How to Use Encounterfish Karna, Tyrex, and recently my favorite Lumen Valkyrie. So yeah, go check that out if you are interested in those. So yeah, um, like, subscribe, I have a Discord, you should join. I'm fairly active so if you want to ask me stuff or recommend stuff, go ahead. And still remember that Zulong is still a dumpster fire.